Hey guys, so today I am here with my mom. This is my mom. Hi, Bailey's friends. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh, I'm so gorgeous. We're both in our pajamas. <laughs> Why not? I'm dressed nice I on know. the top. On the top, I am nice. We're a mullet. Today, we're going to do my mom's makeup. It's nice because I finally have somebody else to do makeup on besides myself which I've always wanted. So, and I'm sad that we haven't done it sooner. Me too, and now you moved away. I know, um, I found a place to live, which is good. But I'm sad that I have to give up this room. It's so cute. You'll make another cute when you're very good like that. But mama's gonna miss her baby. You it's all right, I got it. two other ones. I know. <laughs> You know, I was thinking like so much happened in this house. I'm kind of sad. There's so, a lot of memories here. I mean, I was only supposed to live here for a little bit and then it turned into like 10 years. Couldn't get rid of her damn ass. God, she was the biggest mooch in the world. I was very poor and I needed somewhere to live. All those, every year you came around and told me how much you appreciated the roof over your head that I gave you. Yeah, so. see, at least I was yeah, grateful. Yeah, you, you were grateful. Remember when uh, that thing fell on Lauren's head? <laughs> I think Bailey hasn't probably touched on the fact that I'm one of those, I can do it, I'll fix anything, I can do anything. So we yeah. needed a ceiling fan in here and I can install a ceiling fan. I am now an electrician. <laughs> My mom is very uh, do it yourself. We put that fan in and the light thing didn't fit correctly, but I thought, ah, oh, I'll just jimmy it up there. Lauren was renting the room and she came in and pulled the switch and the light fell <laughs> on. turned it on again. My favorite like memories when me you and Lauren were living yeah, in the house because we just were funny. we were just stupid. We were always getting into stupid little <laughs> adventures. Prep your skin first with some eye cream. Oh wait, let me let me put my hair band on so oh. you, my hair will be out of your way. So what kind of look do you want to do today? Um, I'm gonna be going to brunch with my brother so maybe a brunch look. I went out with this one guy, he was like younger and I, I don't like younger, but he told me, he was, the one thing I love the most about you are those freckles. <laughs> and you're like, what freckles? I'm like, you mean my old age spots? Oh, <laughs> Next. But yeah, mom's single, so if you know a nice... Older man, 55 or higher, please. Preferably oh. with money. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of it. I'm very needy. I love to be like, are, are you gonna be my new daddy? <laughs> okay, so we did an under eye cream, an oil for Ooh, deep that hydration. That good. C can you wait till I get to it? I'm describing what I've done. Oh, so I'm sorry. Gosh, she's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm doing this. It's a moisturizer and a face primer. It smells really good. Yeah, it smells like roses or something, right? Who makes it? By Terry. But it leaves your skin look radiant, fresh. Look at that healthy glow. Wow. I'm done already. <laughs> I'm ready, ready to go. go. I'm going to start with the MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm just going to put this shade. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put this on all over the eyeball to give a nice even color to the lid. Taking this. Taking this ugly mess and making it beautiful. No, taking this eyeshadow. <laughs> so I'm marking where I want your crease to go. Oh, you're giving me a new crease? Yeah. Mm. So right underneath the brow bone. This is how. Oh, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Mm-hmm. And doing it with your eye open because you'll see exactly where you're putting it. Now I'm just going to blend it. So I'm just blending till it looks nice and smooth. I like to do eyeliner looks. So I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel in Plumage. So it's a purple eyeliner. It's retractable. It's creamy. It's easy to work with. So keep your eyes open but look down at your knees. And if you need to blink, you can blink. Okay. It just helps me out. I'm going to put this middle of your eyelid outward. Just a small line. And then I'm going to take my smudge brush and smudge it. I didn't realize this one was sparkly. Oh no, not the sparkly kind. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm going to put shadow over it so I'll get rid of the sparkle. So I'm taking this what am I doing? wine color mixed with a little bit of this brown shade. Am I looking down again? You're gonna, uh, yeah. Okay. Because I'm going to put it right over the liner. So 
So now I'm putting it right on the edge of the eye, coming. Am I closing my eye? Yeah. Closure. You're not giving me instruction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Edge of the eye coming into the new crease I created. Then I'm going to go back to my blending brush and just blend and soften that. Now I'm going to take this lighter shade. Plus, I'm going to put this on the lid. Keeping the lid light will attract light and make your eyes bigger and brighter. So we'll come back and put mascara and all that stuff on afterwards. So I'm using the Estee Lauder, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick. Uh, I split it out and put it on my metal palette for hygiene purposes. And I'm mainly focusing on the center of the face. Hormonally, as females, we get red around this area of the face. <laughs> so we want to really get rid of that. We don't really get like red or break out along here. I'm just using a sponge and I'm blending out, pushing it into the skin, the foundation. Pushing it into the skin. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Well, I don't want the foundation to lay on top of the face and just look cakey. So if I push it into the skin, it looks more natural. I didn't realize you could do that. Yeah, with like a nice sponge. So can you tell the difference in like an older woman's face when you're putting makeup on? Moving on? Yeah, I mean skin is a little bit looser. Yeah. I don't mean that in a mean way. No, I'm, I'm asking. But sometimes, remember when I was working in Newport Beach? Yeah. Um, a lot of ladies there had like fillers and Botox and stuff. And that was like the best skin to put it on because the skin just does not move. move. So you're just like, <laughs> like nothing <laughs> happens. It was the best. And like if you put in, you could see like their staples or like the scars when they had a facelift. And then they'd always brag like, I never had anything done. Or, I have a great skincare <laughs> regimen. I have nothing to be ashamed about. Who cares? I don't know why, what the, why people can't just be honest about getting worked and I don't know what the deal is. I know, huh? So I'm just gonna do a little bit concealer under the eyes, a little bit lighter. Sides of your eyes upwards. This will get the illusion that the A is lifted. Don't try to cover your ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be uh, mean, uh, Mom. Uh, I mean, I don't ever know how to explain to mature <laughs> people, uh, like clients that I work with, like why I'm doing certain things, because then I feel bad. Well, and I, I don't care. But there are some people who do care, and they're like, well, I don't. Life. So I did sides of the nose to get rid of any shadowing and right here to get rid of shadowing. Lift on the edge of the mouth. Sorry. That's so rude. I know. It's we all rude. came here for you. So I'm just going to blend it out. Look up at the ceiling. Now I'm going to use a Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent. It's going to set the under eye so it doesn't crease. That's okay, I'm just using an eyeshadow brush. Cause I don't want it to get too powdery and look cakey cause it can enhance texture and we don't want that. Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. Let's go with this guy. I like how your voice changes when you I'm trying to sound fancy. Say the name of the product. So I'm coming temple on the hairline, cheekbones. I got great cheekbones. There you do. I got it from my mama. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay blush in Rapture, right on your cheekbone, apple and cheek. Add some color. I also like to put it along the hairline. I think I'm looking pretty good. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I love this stuff. I would bathe in it if I could. <laughs> I'm gonna use this last bronzer shade. So this will give you a little bit of a glow, but not glittery. I like to put it all over. <laughs> So I'm just filling in some little sparse areas and then I'm just going to brush 
the powder through. Now let's go back to finish your eyes. How are you feeling so far? Oh my gosh, I feel, feel so flawless and beautiful. Maybe now you can get a hot date. Oh, what is that? This is a mascara brush. And it actually is bent like that or did you yeah. bend it? So if you are a working makeup artist, you absolutely 100% where you need this brush to put on mascara. Wow. It's like a little mini fan brush. It's the best. Where am I looking? This time you're going to look down. And then if you need to blink, you just say so. So back in when we first moved in, we had a ghost in the house and mm -hmm. um, everything was disappearing. I mean, everything was disappearing. It was weird. Uh, you lost your, your thing of money. I know. And I still, you know, I thought I would find it when I moved out. I had two jars of money. One had silver coins and one, and it was funny because the one that was missing was the one full of all the pennies, but I never found it. I lost makeup brushes that I never found. And then remember the money on the table? Oh yeah, Lauren's money yeah. for rent? That was gone. And I cut up pineapple and that was good. <laughs> I think someone just ate it. <laughs> anyway, so I was talking to Fern about this yesterday. I was like, we used to have a ghost problem. And ever since my mom moved out, there's <laughs> nothing's going missing. <laughs> So I came to the conclusion, maybe you were sleepwalking. sleepwalking. I think we should do fake lashes, like natural ones. So we're going to do some false eyelashes, just to add a little bit of a wider eye look, you know, really make your eyes look bigger and just stand out. <laughs> Are you my new daddy? Here's Bailey's new shirt. Are you my new daddy? So keep your eyes open, just look down oh. at your knees. Perfect. And I'm just going to come pop this right on. Open. Look at how pretty. Look at it. Oh Ew. I think maybe I can't find you new daddy. Like I like to put stuff on my lips, but I don't like it if it like stands out like really. I like like natural. <gasps> natural? Shocking and different. <laughs> wow. You are such a unique little snowflake. <laughs> These little, this little lip you got going on is perfect for the, the get them. Oh no. The let them know. Oh wait. Do you want to take out your headband off? <gasps> yes, let's give my natural hair. Look at it, just how eyelashes make your eyes look popping. You have to admit they do. I know, they really are. They look so nice. <laughs> I do, I look pretty. Yeah, you do, you I, look very I, nice. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Bailey. Okay, so let's go put on some real pants and get <laughs> our day started. Thanks okay. for coming by. I hope Thanks you like this me. video. If you want my mom back, leave me a comment down below. And you do want me back. Monthly mom videos. Every month a new look for mom. Okay. Uh, have a good day today. Thank you for watching. Bye. And don't forget to make good choices. Good choices. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye. Kay, bye.